everybody. So, as you saw in one of my first videos, I've built this battery bank from uh, a bunch of uh, old 18650 cells from old laptops. This is powerful enough to power your laptop. It's actually a 55,000 milliamp hours. In order to put the remaining 18650 cells to good use, I bought from eBay a lot of uh, battery banks kits. I have two of these. I also got two of these. This is basically the same principle, but the design is different. You simply snap this in place. The second one was uh, not snapping correctly, which is, I noticed a problem with the Chinese kits. Every single one of them had a defect, except maybe these two and the uh, aluminum ones. This is the same thing, but with two cells. This is one that has four cells and two USB ports and the charging one is in the middle and it also has a flashlight over here. If you double click, you will have the flashlight. It also has a screen and indicates the percentage of battery left. And also it appears when it's charging or when it's uh, Charging something else. <laughs> this actually arrived broken. It was broken here and here, as you can see from the pictures. And the eBay seller gave me a full refund, so basically this is one is for free. Then I have this one. This is a six cells one. This one arrived with the circuit board broken as well. And as you can see from the picture, and I was forced to order another one to use this for six cells. I actually ordered one for four cells. It's blue here, so I kept the button, the same button. And I used the circuit board from this one in this one. Now this one is a six cell. It's also used to have a big screen with power and the percentage here and I just cover those with duct tape and now it's only a few lines from uh, it looks like a predator it also has a flashlight and it has two fast charging USB ports I also have this one of course this one had problems as well it arrived without the glass from here and without the button so since this one arrived with two buttons, I used the button and basically it was an oval shaped button and I cut it and I make it a square and I, I put it in this location and glue it with uh, hot glue, which, which you can see here is actually hot glue, it's not a glass and uh, it's actually working. If you press it, you will have the charge here. And if you double press it, you have the flashlight. Well, actually, this one you need to hold it. This one has four USB out, but unfortunately, each one of them is uh, one amp out. And this one it's um, six cell as well. I have a second one which is uh, similar to the last one I showed you, except the power button is here. And here it shows the percentage and here is to be a second display where it showed power, but I cover that because it, uh, I mean, you can still see it in a light, but it's not powering uh, on. It was a bit cheesy to be honest. This one has 6L as well. Yeah. For all of this, actually for all of these, I have for all of these four, I have to actually solder the batteries, and I will show you next how I do that. And I also have these two. This one, it's a seven cell holder, and this one is an eight cell holder. 
and this one had just uh, battery holders with uh, some uh, springs inside and they keep the batteries. Um, the problems with these ones were they were uh, difficult to close. As you can see, this one is still not perfectly sealed. And this one, again, I have to, to actually glue it with some super glue. So this is what I built. This is with 8 cells, 7 cells, 6 cells, 6 cells, 6 cells, 4 cells, 2 cells, 1, 1 and 1. I also have another one, like this one, like this one, but I want to make a battery bank from this old iPhone 5C case, so stay tuned for that. Now I will show you how I built each one of them, so enjoy the video and maybe, why not, subscribe? See you next time! Get the best, 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 get the best